<laughs> yeah. Boros Reckoning. Yeah, I don't work with cavernous souls, but I work with the rest of the mana. He's just like sitting over, all the humans are discussing things, like, and he's just sitting over there, like, just working out, yeah. drinking a smoothie. You no, know, it's kind of strange because it is that good card deck, and, you know, some of the cards do work together well, but then there's also some awkward interactions. Yeah. As you said, it is a bit schizophrenic, but it's a deck we'll talk about more. But we got a match in front of us, my friends. The game three that we're going to walk into Anthony Pittman on the left playing the Boogeyman and Joker Animator. Rick Meditz on the right playing Prime Speaker Banth, a matchup that we did see a little bit last weekend. We were in Kansas City, and I think this is one that does favor the old Joker Animator deck quite yes, a bit. Yes, I do love the. Uh, sideboard suggest or like decision by Rick. He's boarded in feeling a dread. I think to be like a time, like just like a time walk. Or he is missing land drops, which sucks. But like if my opponent, like my junk opponent, played like double elf or something, I might be like, yeah, I'll just tap both of them. Yeah, slow him down a little bit. Yeah, but uh, since Prime Speaker Bant did just uh, skip and he has not discarded yet, so he was on the mulligan. So who's time walking who here? As we do see a Goblet Shrine here from Anthony, he passes the turn back. Rick is going to draw a card. It does not look like he has drawn a land. Okay, he's, he's drawn a green. He he's drawn a pretty green. He has his Celestia Charm, and, and, and Abyssin's Pilgrim's been attacking. He, uh, uh, yeah, maybe saving it for Angel Strandy, Brad. Easy, easy. But maybe saving it for never mind. Can't but kill Acidic that. Slime. Acidic Slime is here to destroy the breeding pool. And you do see Rick does draw a Sun Petal Grove, and he's going to pass the turn back. And Rick might be in a world of trouble here because if we do see a restoration you know angel here from Anthony, it's going to get ugly. I think these kids just have not played with Ambush Viper enough. I think that's the problem. You remember your Ambush Viper days? I do. It was, I do. They were scary, man. I do. You loved casting that card, too. I do like Ambush Viper. I can't lie. Yeah. You saw right through me. Yeah. I also like the the, the two two bear. I can't remember his name. Oh, Ashcoat Bear. Yeah, Ashcoat Bear. My, I, my roommate used to call I Ambush Bear. I might have drafted that format about four hundred times. Approximately. We've uh, done the math. We ca I actually counted once. It was like three something through for all three. That's too many. We do see a Thrag Tusk here from Anthony, and what we were hoping for was going to be a competitive game three. It looks like we're not going to walk into a competitive one, as we do see. The Thraxus, the Slime, and the Pilgrim coming in. Feeling of Dread is going to tap those guys. So you'll see Pilgrim get in that one point of damage. And we'll see what kind of follow-up Anthony does have. Is it going to be a Restoration Angel? It is. And it's going to blink the Acidic Slime. Uh -huh. That's going to destroy Sun Petal Grove. And Rick is going back to the Stone Age. As he does draw a card, he's going to draw a, a land-ish. We have a land. We draw what looks to be a land in Farseek. But we see the beatdowns coming it's across so here from Anthony. It's so unfair when the junk has all the slimes and the Restoration Angels and all the awesome things against these like slow control, control mid range decks. Yeah, you know, you, you see Acidic Slime. It's a card that the Junk Animator deck can find quite a bit with, uh, you know, Mulch putting in the graveyard, Grizzly Salvage yeah. putting in the graveyard or you know, into your hand, and then you can reanimate it and Restoration Angel it. And it's one of the few decks that can actually take full advantage of Acidic Slime. Yes. Where a lot of the decks are just kind of using it to maybe be in a land destruction spell or kill Rest in Peace. This deck puts Acidic Slime into Overdrive, and you're seeing it right now as it's even coming across for points of damage. Yeah, it does it all. Oh, the humanity. I mean, after this game, it's going to go and make Anthony a sandwich. <laughs> it's just the best <laughs> card ever. As we do see Anthony does play a Woodland Cemetery here, and you see a lot was trolled in his hand. A couple copies of Angel's Serenity in his hand as well, for the old still had these. Anthony was my boy, and then he played a lot with troll. Oh, not a fan of lot with troll, are we? No, but it's going to get regenerated through the Supreme Verdict and attack for five and kill him. And the Supreme Verdict's not even going to be cast as <laughs> yeah, Rick yeah, sees the writing sees on the it, wall. Yeah. Anthony Pittman, as we join that game three, <laughs> does win with Junk Reanimator, the boogeyman of the tournament, defeating Rick Meditz playing Prime Speaker Bant. Yes, uh, a deck that I have never liked since its existence. I think wow. It's, yeah, Shots fired, folks. Shots fired. We're going to cut back to the booth here. And, and while we do, you know what? Why don't you explain yourself, Prime Speaker Bant hater? 